who he know who does it better than this I'm the boy you done get it I'm on top of the list trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish every day to me it's like a solar eclipse ah, ah. y'all so that King Geek welcome to my channel about to dive right into top 10 Ryan Reynolds top 10 times Ryan Reynolds was awesome <laughs> Like the first shot is him in the Deadpool suit underneath a unicorn singing in a Japanese or Chinese show. <laughs> anyway, let's dive right in. Dive right in. The sun will come out tomorrow. It's a mess hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Ryan Reynolds was awesome. Hey Jake. Seventy percent sure it wasn't me. He gets it. For this list, we're looking at the funniest, most heartwarming, and/or most memorable moments in the life of Ryan Reynolds, excluding movie and TV roles. What do you think is the best thing Ryan Reynolds has ever done? Be sure to let us Interview know in the comments. Interview himself. Okay, let's get into some Canadian content here. Interviews. Number ten, getting roasted by his twin. What's up, Gordon? Looks like uh, we start with it. Looks like we got two beards in the room. Three, if you count your wife. Let's dive in. Ryan Reynolds is a funny guy. That much is pretty obvious. Remember After to take all, the we've got you decades won. of evidence to draw from. What makes Reynolds so funny, however, is the fact that his favorite butt of the joke is himself. I skipped ahead. Let's get to the heart of the matter now. Why can't you be like other actors? Good ones. While most actors would rather not talk about their films that failed with critics or at the box office, he reframes his past flops as comedic gold. Do you consider Deadpool the Green Lantern of good movies? Taking this trademark <laughs> self-flagellating humor to new heights, however, was this 2016 interview he did for GQ, in which he's interviewed by his own twin. Spoiler, Reynolds doesn't have a twin. It's just Ryan Reynolds being a jerk to Ryan Reynolds. Oh, and that cameo from Jake Gyllenhaal? Amazing. GQ Man of the Year, that's a big honor. You know, I can't, I can't think of anyone more worthy. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, uh, it's... Um... <laughs> hey, Jake. Number Jake nine, is a his appearance bro. on King of Mask Singer. The sun will come out tomorrow. It's safe to say that most people have seen it's King of Mask Singer over there. But in 2018, before its Western remake, Ryan Reynolds appeared on the original South Korean version. His star power made him one of the biggest and most shocking celebrity reveals up to that point. In honor of Deadpool, Reynolds wore a unicorn mask, complete with a sparkly silver cape and rainbow trim. As hilarious, absurd, and unexpected as his appearance was, we just like to point out that Reynolds' performance was actually solid. Tomorrow, I love you. Is he gonna win the voice? No, but he certainly earned himself a place in a musical should the right role come along. And just look at the reaction he got. Number eight, helping the Peloton actress get a shot at redemption. Commercials come and go. We're bombarded with so much advertising that it takes something really remarkable to leave a lasting impression. But when Peloton dropped this ad, it went viral in the worst possible way, with people labeling the whole thing sexist, uncomfortable, offensive, and extremely out of touch. A year ago, I didn't realize how much this would change me. Some went so far as to call it, quote, dystopian. Unfortunately, actress Monica Ruiz found herself High key. caught in the crossfire of all this bad press. Americans well, give a shit about knows some all dumb too shit. Well, what it's like to be the face of a project gone bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you have a piece of content, you're an actor, you put it out there and uh, it doesn't quite work and you feel a little alienated and stuff. So I had a tremendous empathy for her in that moment. And so, being the comedic class act he is, he helped give Ruiz the chance to star in a commercial for Aviation Gin, a spirit he has an ownership stake in, poking fun at the whole thing. To new beginnings. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun night. There you go. Take this too. Number seven, his hilarious apology. We're cautiously optimistic that the red line will keep going in the good direction. The 2020 sale of Aviation Gin involved a reputed sum of 610 million dollars. Yeah, I heard dollars. about this. Now, Reynolds is only one stakeholder, so it's not like he's personally receiving a check for that amount, but it likely resulted in a solid payday nonetheless. And finally, let me say that as owner, I welcome your feedback. I don't take it, but that's why I welcome it. <laughs> in honor of the occasion, the actor set up a hilarious out-of-office reply in which he poked fun at his business savvy and the sale of the company. In short, it's an apology to everyone I told to go F themselves in the last 24 hours. <laughs> the list is very long and includes his mom, Lake Lively, The Rock, 
TGI Fridays, AMC Theaters, and George Clooney. For the record, this isn't the first time he's gotten creative with his work email. This Father's Day, you may not be able to give Dad a second chance, but you can give him a bottle of Aviation American Gin. <laughs> Number six, being transparent about anxiety. Well, I mean, I've done this for 26 years. You start to kind of become your own worst critic. So you, you know, most of the time I'm, I'm being hard on myself. I it's didn't know he was on this about anxiety, like, actually. Matter, but making the world a better place with comedy, that takes serious talent. Reynolds has gotten involved with a number of official causes over the years, but one that seems personally important to him is mental health. Hey, Anxiety two guys at a pizza place. Sort of <laughs> two guys and a girl in a pizza was place. I would just Wasn't that what it was jump called? Into the audience and just do the warm up. Reynolds has acknowledged his own struggles with anxiety in a number of tweets over the years. Oftentimes, though not always, he laces them with humor. He's also opened up about his battle with anxiety in a number of interviews, even acknowledging that in his 20s, he self-medicated. His general advice, give yourself, quote, permission to be nervous. I think he said the word Parkinson's to me maybe twice in his uh, in the 25 years that he had the disease. So uh, not unlike how I deal he with some awesome. issues surrounding anxiety, I think more people talk about it the more I see guys like my father, who is a sort of the archetypal strong man, the guy who, you know, don't talk about your feelings, cram them down. And Number five, lovingly needling Blake Lively. Being in a relationship is hard, especially He's when so it involves awesome. raising children. But doing all of the above while also being in the public eye, that sounds downright exhausting. Thankfully, it would seem that husband and wife team Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively have found a winning formula. They use humor, even on social media, to diffuse the tension. While so many couples work day and night to maintain a veneer of perfection, they crack jokes at each other's expense. And you know what? Not only does it humanize the couple, it also inspires far more confidence <laughs> in their relationship than the most carefully curated life ever. Oh, that's a great when post. Reynolds gushes about Blake Lively and their kids, you can tell it's 100% authentic. Yeah, but we were buddies for a long time. She has the best way to, I think the best way to have a relationship is well, to start as friends. She's an amazing cook. Why wouldn't you be buddies with Yeah, exactly. Well, because you need to fit into a superhero costume <laughs> for a little while. Number four, his Mint Mobile ad. That's right, you can save hundreds of dollars a year, according to math. I know, it's hard to believe, to me. but so are the plots of like 60% of my films. <laughs> if we've learned anything from Aviation Gin, it's this. You're looking if you've got a company old. in need of a committed, hands-on celebrity stakeholder, you cannot ask for better than Ryan Reynolds. Hey there, it's Ryan Reynolds, new owner of Mint Mobile. In 2019, the actor bought into Mint Mobile, a telecommunications company offering low-cost mobile phone services. Just as he did with Aviation Gin, Reynolds Damn, put a lot of Damn, he's making moves, though. But the Mint Mobile Plus joke takes his meta-marketing to new heights. Mint Mobile Plus was a faux streaming service launched to promote the company. <laughs> it features only one movie, 2003's Foolproof starring Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> The website has since been taken down, but the hilarious memories live on. Number three, everything he's done to promote aviation gin. All of our botanicals are humanely caught, cage-free and grain-fed. As previously mentioned, Ryan Reynolds made quite the business deal. And you know what? It couldn't have happened to a nicer or more deserving guy. As any A-list celebrity will tell you, it's crucial to diversify your revenue stream. Because, hey, what if the acting gigs dry up? Rather than just buy into a brand like so many of his peers, when Reynolds purchased a stake in Aviation Gin in 2018, he made it a true passion project. Not only did he appear in a number of ads, he also helped the company find its marketing voice. Some might call this overkill, but the next time you visit your local mixologist and you murder that silky smooth aviation martini, well, who's the killer now, asshole? Through a number of commercials and promotional videos, Reynolds made Aviation Gin synonymous with his own authentic and distinct brand of humor, which is equal parts false bravado and self-deprecation. Can you ever really go too far for your company? I just don't think it's possible. <laughs> the Ryan Reynolds signature bottle. He gets it. Number two, his make-a-wish work as Deadpool. I ended up not getting to go because of medical reasons, and... That's then sweet. they bring Ryan Reynolds to me with the movie. Is Deadpool a kid-friendly hero? Nope. Not in the slightest. <laughs> what, what the f- <laughs> Easy now, hey, 
You still haven't watched Once Upon, upon a Dead Pool. I still hear that it's just a PG version no of Deadpool 2. But there's no telling children who they should or should look up to. And Deadpool's unique brand of humor Great and anti-heroism has resonated with fans of all ages. And for all the character's unsavory elements, the guy underneath the mask couldn't be more caring, considerate, or worthy of a child's adoration. Since the release of the first Deadpool film in 2016, Ryan Reynolds has volunteered his time to make dreams come true specifically those of children fighting cancer. So while Deadpool might not think of himself as a hero, we think that the actions of Ryan Reynolds when in costume prove otherwise. Furthermore, he continues to do good work in various outfits. I would just like to take this opportunity to talk about Two Guys, A Girl, and a Pizza Place, which was a show that he was on, and he was adorable and hilarious, and for like 10 years after it, I called him Berg because that was his name on the show. All right, now that that is out of the way, let's get to some honorable mentions and then we'll see the number one time Ryan Reynolds was awesome. Crashing the X-Men reunion call. Hang on. Yeah, I remember this knock, video. Knock. Whoa, oh. so many stars. Is that, was that Ian McKellen? Ryan, the cast and I were all just reminiscing about the movie that we are all in together. I hear you. Shutting down the shirtless handstand challenge. I'm on leg. Oh, oh my God, I'm on leg. Jake Gyllenhaal, Ryan Reynolds. No. No. <laughs> His reaction to the leaked Deadpool test footage. Just a little uh, under two years ago, it leaked accidentally onto the internet. Mm. Accidentally. And well, here's the thing: it it the fans freaked out. The Deadpool fans freaked out and overwhelmed Fox. And Fox basically had to greenlight the movie. His mm -hmm. on-point Twitter game. I'm waiting to see what number one could be. Getting involved in COVID-19 awareness. I think in times of crisis, I think we all know that it's, it's, the, it's the celebrities that we count on most. They're the ones who <laughs> get us through this. Right after healthcare workers, of course. <laughs> They're going to sing us Imagine. Responders. People who work in essential services, uh, ping pong players, uh, mannequins. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the Odyssey of Ryan Reynolds and Hugh oh, Jackman. Oh, yeah. I think it started with us. I'll give them that. <laughs> well, it didn't. No. The Jackmans and Reynolds that. have been mortal enemies for as long as there have been Jackmans <laughs> and Reynoldses. <laughs> with all due respect to Jimmy Kimmel and Matt Damon, we are giving the award to greatest frenemies to these two guys. <laughs> Good eye, Mike. <laughs> Hugh Jackman here. Just reminding you to get your votes in for people's sexiest men alive. Cover's coming up. For years now, no. Reynolds and Jackman have been playing up a supposed epic feud. Hugh Jackman's upcoming performance in The Front Runner has fooled some people into thinking he deserves an award. <laughs> but before voting begins, some people should consider these facts. It reportedly <laughs> dates back to 2008, when Jackman oh gave Reynolds God. a hard time about dating his friend Scarlett Johansson. The truth? He's been riding Hugh Jackman's coattail since 2009, <laughs> when Hugh hand-selected him to star in X-Men Origins Wolverine in the universally acclaimed <laughs> Best Picture. They're making Wayne it Wilson. seem like... <laughs> They've since traded plenty of shots about Deadpool being the black sheep of the X-Men <laughs> like this battle has spread to encompass blah. all aspects of their like respective personal lives and careers. They've called so the tired. on a few occasions, but more often than not, it's all part of the bit. Sorry, man, I didn't think the truce was actually real. I... Most recently, they've put it on pause for charity. The prize? Their combined involvement in running a lemonade stand. To think a lemonade of stand. what <laughs> she's had to put up with. I mean, let's, <laughs> let's just think COVID with Ryan. It's, it's amazing. The funniest thing about the Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman feud is that they seem like two of the nicest guys in Hollywood, so it makes no sense. Anyway, we definitely miss some stuff because as discussed, Ryan Reynolds is awesome. So be sure to tell us about it in the comments or come talk to me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton or on my YouTube channel. That was a great video. A lot of the stuff I knew, I didn't know about the anxiety one and the COVID relief one. 
I haven't really been following stars lately. <laughs> like he said, they are be way behind uh, ping pong players. <laughs> anyway, tell me what you guys think. Do you think it's awesome? Deuces.